Hi there. What's one really important thing if you're trying to trade with market on close orders? I'm champion trader Kevin Davey, and let's find out. Well, hey, I remember the first time I started building trading algos. It was years ago. But one of the things I did was I always had statements that said sell this bar on close or I use the keyword in TradeStation which is called set exit on close and I'd come up with these back tests and they'd be pretty good and so I said hey this is great let's go trade it and then I'd go and trade it live and the set exit on close would always result in the order rejected so what was going on why was my order getting rejected? Well, at least with TradeStation, and it might be true with a lot of other trading platforms too, you'd have to check your own. Market on close orders are sent after the market closes. So in that case, that means by the time the order's sent, the exchange is closed, and of course the exchange says, hey, I'm closed. Don't be sending me orders. And then you can't get out of the market. So this is a big deal if you're trying to trade algos, right? If you have set exit on close, it almost never works. Now, market on open orders, hey, they're a different story. Because as soon as the market opens, that order will be placed and then it will work. But not so with market on close orders. So which orders am I talking about in particular? Well, it's mainly where you say sell this bar at close and set exit on close. Those are the key ones. And if you're covering a short, it would be buy to cover on close. And if you're doing those with daily bars, I can safely tell you with TradeStation, they're never going to work live. Now, how can you get around this? Well, there's a few different ways, but it's important to see how all these things add up. So take a look at this table. This tells you which orders work and which orders don't, and do they work just in backtest, or do they work in backtest and live trading? Ideally, what you want is you want them to work in backtesting and live trading, not just one or the other. And all these orders work in backtest. And that's the tricky part about it. They work in backtest, but they may not work live. So there's four different cases where there's a potential problem between what the backtest can do and what the live trading will do. The first is if you're trading intraday bars and you want to exit on the last bar of the day. Okay, you can't really do that and you can't say sell this bar at close. What you have to do is either create a custom session where you exit at a certain time, a couple minutes before the exchange closes, or you can just exit a bar earlier and you can calculate when the second to the last bar is and then just exit then. Same thing with set exit on close. With intraday bars, you can't use this unless you use a custom session. So if you have a custom session that ends, let's say, a couple minutes before 5 p.m. Eastern, and the market closes at 5 p.m. Eastern, the set exit on close should work. But as with anything I tell you, always test to make sure it works for you. And test it in live trading. That's the only way to really know for sure. Another issue is when you're trading with daily bars. Sell this bar on close just won't work. And you can't create a custom session with daily bars. And it, the same thing holds true with set exit on close. You can't do a custom session with daily bars. That's a, just one of the limitations of TradeStation. So, okay, so I just have to deal with it. So what could you do? Well, one of them, if you don't want to say open next bar, sell at the open of the next bar at market, is to create 
a minute base bar. So a 1440 minute bar, which is a 24 hour bar. That one would then be something that you could apply a custom session to and that you could exit early. The problem is the ones that are 1440 minute bars, sometimes the results you get are a lot different than daily bars. So that's something, again, you have to check and make sure there's not a problem there. All things considered, market on close, set exit on close, they're tough to use. And they're tough to use because they don't work right in real time. So if you're going to use them, be careful. Make sure you test them live. And make sure whatever you do agrees with what you've back tested. Well, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Do you have some other way of dealing with this set exit on close issue? I'd love to hear it. And of course, subscribe to my channel. Go and visit my website. I have tons of articles there. And I give away a free algo there. I'm Champion Trader Kevin Davey, and thanks for watching.